The bell started to toll again. That hooded monster must be ringing it. A line from the English poet John Donne popped into Dora's head. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for thee. She swallowed hard. The older boys carried the trays around to the guests and handed the wine and bread to Dora and Edward. Finally, the communion was finished. Ready? Edward yanked Dora to her feet. They turned to face what was left of the wedding guests and his regiment. As the recessional played, Edward strode determinedly down the aisle with Dora on his arm. She gingerly stepped around the slashed remains of the uniform that still lay in the aisle next to the painted wooden tomb chest. Everyone acted afraid to pick it up, as if this were a battlefield instead of a church. Just as they reached the door with the bell clanging, somehow the intruder had a helper. H again appeared in the gallery. Shrieking and crying, Edward spun around and fired. The figure vanished. The mysterious saboteur in pursuit of the Lawrence maps ruins Dora's wedding to Colonel Sir Edward Ware on September 30th, 1934. But he doesn't stop there. The maps, which are the key to world domination, are too valuable. He pursues her all the way to British Mideast headquarters in Egypt. There, in the shadow of the Sphinx, she comes face to face with her fate and discovers the true identity of the German agent working for Hitler. The shocking conclusion will change her life forever. <laughs>